Part 1, Emily in Bulgaria follows Emily, a travel blogger from Chicago, who moves to Bulgaria to explore the country's beauty and culture. Each episode showcases a new destination or experience. Is Emily a travel blogger from Chicago? Yes, Emily is a travel blogger from Chicago. Does Emily move to Bulgaria to explore its beauty and culture? Yes, Emily moves to Bulgaria to explore its beauty and culture. Do the episodes showcase new destinations and experiences? Yes, the episodes showcase new destinations and experiences. Is Emily an experienced traveler or a beginner? Emily is an experienced traveler. Does Emily explore urban or rural areas in Bulgaria? Emily explores both urban and rural areas in Bulgaria. Is the show focused on adventure or relaxation? The show is focused on adventure. Does Emily visit well-known or hidden places? Emily visits both well-known and hidden places. What is the main focus of Emily in Bulgaria? The main focus of Emily in Bulgaria is Emily's exploration of Bulgaria's beauty and culture. Where does Emily come from? Emily comes from Chicago. Why does Emily move to Bulgaria? Emily moves to Bulgaria to explore the country's beauty and culture. How are the episodes structured? Each episode showcases a new destination or experience. Part 2 In Pyrin National Park, Emily joins a group of hikers and bonds with a local guide, Ivan. He helps her appreciate Bulgarian customs and traditions as they trek together. Does Emily join a group of hikers in Pyrin National Park? Yes, Emily joins a group of hikers in Pyrin National Park. Is Ivan a local guide that Emily bonds with? Yes, Ivan is a local guide that Emily bonds with. Does Ivan help Emily appreciate Bulgarian customs and traditions? Yes, Ivan helps Emily appreciate Bulgarian customs and traditions. Does Emily join a group of hikers or a group of bikers? Emily joins a group of hikers. Is Ivan a local guide or a foreign guide? Ivan is a local guide. Do Emily and Ivan bond quickly or slowly? Emily and Ivan bond quickly. Do they trek together or separately? They trek together. Where does Emily join a group of hikers? Emily joins a group of hikers in Pyrin National Park. Who is Ivan? Ivan is a local guide who bonds with Emily. What does Ivan help Emily appreciate? Ivan helps Emily appreciate Bulgarian customs and traditions. How do Emily and Ivan spend their time together? Emily and Ivan spend their time together by trekking in Pyrin National Park. Part 3 Attending the Spirit of Burgas Festival, Emily meets a local musician, Maria. Together, they explore Burgas and form a close friendship while discovering modern art deco and seaside parks. Does Emily attend the Spirit of Burgas Festival? Yes, Emily attends the Spirit of Burgas Festival. Does Emily meet a local musician named Maria? Yes, Emily meets a local musician named Maria. Do Emily and Maria form a close friendship? Yes, Emily and Maria form a close friendship. Does Emily attend a festival or a conference? Emily attends a festival. Is Maria a musician or an athlete? Maria is a musician. Do Emily and Maria discover modern art deco or ancient art? Emily and Maria discover modern art deco. Do they visit seaside parks or inland parks? They visit seaside parks. What festival does Emily attend? Emily attends the Spirit of Borgas Festival. Who does Emily meet at the festival? Emily meets a local musician named Maria at the festival. What do Emily and Maria explore together? Emily and Maria explore Borgas, modern art deco, and seaside parks together. What kind of relationship do Emily and Maria have? Emily and Maria form a close friendship. 
Part 4, Emily's journey takes her to Zaravna, Ruz, Magura Cave, and Albena, uncovering architectural gems, historical roots, and stunning beach resorts while encountering various romantic interests. Does Emily visit Zaravna, Ruz, Magura Cave, and Albena? Yes, Emily visits Zaravna, Ruz, Magura Cave, and Albena. Does Emily uncover architectural gems and historical roots? Yes, Emily uncovers architectural gems and historical roots. Does Emily encounter various romantic interests? Yes, Emily encounters various romantic interests. Does Emily's journey take her to a single location or multiple locations? Emily's journey takes her to multiple locations. Does Emily uncover architectural gems or architectural ruins? Emily uncovers architectural gems. Are the places Emily visits known for their history or their modernity? The places Emily visits are known for their history. Does Emily visit beach resorts or mountain resorts? Emily visits beach resorts. Which locations does Emily visit in part 4? Emily visits Zaravna, Ruz, Magura Cave, and Albena. What does Emily discover in these locations? Emily discovers architectural gems, historical roots, and stunning beach resorts. What kind of interests does Emily encounter during her journey? Emily encounters various romantic interests. What is the focus of Emily's journey in Part 4? The focus of Emily's journey in Part 4 is uncovering architecture, history, and beach resorts while encountering romantic interests. Part 5, in Sozopal, Emily has a whirlwind romance with a fisherman, Demeter. The relationship teaches her valuable lessons about love, trust, and commit commitment, expanding her perspective on relationships. Does Emily have a whirlwind romance with a fisherman named Demeter in Sozopal? Yes, Emily has a whirlwind romance with a fisherman named Demeter in Sozopal. Does the relationship teach Emily valuable lessons about love, trust, and commitment? Yes, the relationship teaches Emily valuable lessons about love, trust, and commitment. Does Emily's perspective on relationships expand during this part of the story? Yes, Emily's perspective on relationships expands during this part of the story. Is Demeter a fisherman or a farmer? Demeter is a fisherman. Does Emily's romance with Demeter occur in Sozopal or Ruse? Emily's romance with Demeter occurs in Sozopal. Is their relationship slow-paced or fast-paced? Their relationship is fast-paced, whirlwind. Does Emily learn about love, trust, and commitment or hate, distrust, and detachment? Emily learns about love, trust, and commitment. Who does Emily have a whirlwind romance with in Sozopal? Emily has a whirlwind romance with a fisherman named Demeter in Sozopal. What does Emily learn from her relationship with Demeter? Emily learns valuable lessons about love, trust, and commitment from her relationship with Demeter. How does the relationship affect Emily's perspective on relationships? The relationship expands Emily's perspective on relationships. What kind of romance do Emily and Demeter have? Emily and Demeter have a whirlwind romance. Part 6, Visiting Nezabar and Bansko, Emily immerses herself in Bulgarian culture, making friends with locals and exploring both the ancient town's heritage and the popular winter sports destination. Does Emily visit Nezabar and Bansko? Yes, Emily visits Nezabar and Bansko. Does Emily immerse herself in Bulgarian culture? Yes, Emily immerses herself in Bulgarian culture. Does Emily make friends with locals? Yes, Emily makes friends with locals. Does Emily explore the ancient town's heritage or modern city life? Emily explores the ancient town's heritage. Is Bansko a popular winter sports destination or a summer beach destination? Bansko is a popular winter sports destination. Does Emily immerse herself in Bulgarian culture or isolate herself from it? Emily immerses herself in Bulgarian culture. Does Emily make friends with locals or remain distant from them? 
Emily makes friends with locals. Which two locations does Emily visit in part 6? Emily visits Nezabar and Vansko. What does Emily do while visiting these locations? Emily immerses herself in Bulgarian culture, makes friends with locals, and explores the ancient town's heritage and the popular winter sports destination. What kind of experience does Emily have with the local people? Emily makes friends with the local people. What is the focus of Emily's journey in Part 6? The focus of Emily's journey in Part 6 is immersing herself in Bulgarian culture and exploring heritage and winter sports destinations. Part 7, in Belogradchik, Emily learns about unique rock formations and joins local environmentalists, led by Elena, to protect the landscape. Does Emily visit Belogradchik in Part 7? Yes, Emily visits Belogradchik. Does Emily learn about unique rock formations? Yes, Emily learns about unique rock formations. Does Emily join local environmentalists to protect the landscape? Yes, Emily joins local environmentalists to protect the landscape. Does Emily learn about unique rock formations or ordinary rock formations? Emily learns about unique rock formations. Is Emily led by Elena or Ivan in her environmental efforts? Emily is led by Elena in her environmental efforts. Does Emily join local environmentalists or oppose them? Emily joins local environmentalists. Is Emily in Belogradchik to protect the landscape or exploit it? Emily is in Belogradchik to protect the landscape. Where does Emily visit in Part 7? Emily visits Belogradchik. What does Emily learn about in Belogradchik? Emily learns about unique rock formations. Who leads the local environmentalists that Emily joins? Elena leads the local environmentalists that Emily joins. What is Emily's goal in joining the local environmentalists? Emily's goal is to protect the landscape. Part 8 Emily faces cultural differences and language barriers, but her resilience helps her adapt. Her blog gains a following, and she becomes an influential voice in the travel community. Does Emily face cultural differences and language barriers? Yes, Emily faces cultural differences and language barriers. Does Emily's resilience help her adapt? Yes, Emily's resilience helps her adapt. Does Emily's blog gain a following? Yes, Emily's blog gains a following. Does Emily face cultural differences or cultural similarities? Emily faces cultural differences. Does Emily adapt easily or with difficulty? Emily adapts with difficulty, but her resilience helps her. Does Emily's blog gain a following or lose followers? Emily's blog gains a following. Does Emily become an influential or insignificant voice in the travel community? Emily becomes an influential voice in the travel community. What challenges does Emily face in Part 8? Emily faces cultural differences and language barriers. What quality helps Emily adapt to these challenges? Emily's resilience helps her adapt to the challenges. What happens to Emily's blog as she adapts? Emily's blog gains a following. What kind of voice does Emily become in the travel community? Emily becomes an influential voice in the travel community. Part 9 As her time in Bulgaria ends, Emily must choose between returning to Chicago or continuing her European adventures. Her experiences have changed her outlook on life, love, and growth. Does Emily's time in Bulgaria come to an end in Part 9? Yes, Emily's time in Bulgaria comes to an end in Part 9. Does Emily have to choose between returning to Chicago or continuing her European adventures? Yes, Emily has to choose between returning to Chicago or continuing her European adventures. Have Emily's experiences changed her outlook on life, love, and growth? Yes, Emily's experiences have changed her outlook on life, love, and growth. Does Emily need to choose between returning to Chicago or staying in Bulgaria? 
Emily needs to choose between returning to Chicago or continuing her European adventures. Does Emily's time in Bulgaria end or begin in Part 9? Emily's time in Bulgaria ends in Part 9. Have Emily's experiences changed her outlook or left it unchanged? Emily's experiences have changed her outlook. Are Emily's experiences focused on life, love, and growth or death, hate, and stagnation? Emily's experiences are focused on life, love, and growth. What decision does Emily face in Part 9? Emily faces the decision between returning to Chicago or continuing her European adventures. What aspect of Emily's life is affected by her experiences in Bulgaria? Emily's outlook on life, love, and growth is affected by her experiences in Bulgaria. What stage of Emily's journey is represented in Part 9? Part 9 represents the end of Emily's journey in Bulgaria. What is the main theme of Emily's experiences in Part 9? The main theme of Emily's experiences in Part 9 is the impact of her journey on her outlook on life, love, and growth. Part 10, in the finale, Emily visits the Balkan Mountains, reflecting on her journey and connections. Surrounded by Bulgaria's beauty and warmth, she makes a life-changing decision. Does Emily visit the Balkan Mountains in Part 10? Yes, Emily visits the Balkan Mountains. Does Emily reflect on her journey and connections in Part 10? Yes, Emily reflects on her journey and connections. Does Emily make a life-changing decision in Part 10? Yes, Emily makes a life-changing decision. Does Emily visit the Balkan Mountains or the Alps in Part 10? Emily visits the Balkan Mountains. Does Emily reflect on her journey or ignore it in Part 10? Emily reflects on her journey in Part 10. Is Emily surrounded by Bulgaria's beauty and warmth or ugliness and coldness in Part 10? Emily is surrounded by Bulgaria's beauty and warmth. Does Emily make a life-changing or trivial decision in Part 10? Emily makes a life-changing decision. Where does Emily visit in the finale? Emily visits the Balkan Mountains in the finale. What does Emily reflect on in Part 10? Emily reflects on her journey and connections in Part 10. What type of decision does Emily make in the finale? Emily makes a life-changing decision in the finale. What is the atmosphere like in Bulgaria during Emily's reflection in Part 10? The atmosphere is filled with beauty and warmth during Emily's reflection in Part 10.